Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, I'm your host, Matt, and this is your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to create an audio playlist, just like you see on the screen here, on any page or post across your WordPress website, and a very simple and easy to use plugin called Audio Igniter. And you get Audio Igniter for free over at wordpress.org slash plugins slash audio igniter. A fairly new plugin made by the team behind CSS Ignite, and they have been building products for quite some time. Uh, it's, you know, so far a really easy plugin to use. They do have a pro component, which adds some other features that we'll look at uh, in a little bit. Most notably, you can sync up to SoundCloud, which is super useful if you're podcasting or, or publishing your music on SoundCloud, widget availability, rearranging tracks through drag and drop. Um, and then of course, customizing the look and feel of that player uh, in the WordPress customizer. But let's just dive right in and show you how to get this plugin up and running. First thing you want to do is go to plugins, add new. You're going to search for it. Audio igniter. If I could spell. And once you get that in there, I've already got it installed and activated, of course, but you would just click on install and activate. And that will create this playlist uh, section in the admin of your WordPress site is very traditional sort of custom post type look and feel. And you create an ad you when you want to go and make a new playlist, you click on add new playlist. You can see here, I already have that set up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. And the interface is just really easy to use and understand. So if you wanted to add a track to your playlist, uh, click on add track, that'll drop in this section right here. And then you can title it, you can obviously upload the file or link to a stream, uh, a radio stream, compatible radio stream, uh, label the artist. And if you have, if you're selling music or you're linking to a store that to buy a CD or an album or something like that, you could drop in that link right here. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to upload uh, this one. I've already uploaded it to WordPress, of course. I'm just selecting it at this point. I could label the artist, and then I could do a cover photo. Okay, and I will hit update. Refresh this home page. There you see the fourth one that I've added, a little cover art right there, and that'll uh, show right up here when I hit play. I'm not going to hit play because I don't want the sound uh, to record over this recording. And that's it, that's it for creating um, a list and adding uh, audio files onto that list. Now remember on the free version, you can't drag and drop, <clears throat> excuse me, you can't drag and drop and rearrange these tracks like you can on the pro version. So you'd have to go ahead and kind of remove these and uh, you know reorder your, your playlist by uh, uploading those uh, audio files in the order that you want them to go. At the end of the day, once you do all that stuff, you can come down here, grab the short code, and then drop that on any page on your WordPress site, like right here. If I edit this page, you'll see here's that short code that I dropped in, and that creates what we were just looking at on the home page. Okay. But if you want to customize things just a little bit, uh, like if you didn't want to show the track numbers in the track list, you could uncheck that. If you didn't want to show the cover as it was playing, you could uncheck that. You could do things like each track list height. Uh, gets a certain number of pixels. And if you wanted to give uh, a max width of the overall player, uh, you know, to a certain, you know, number of pixels, you could do that as well. And, uh, you know, in this case, let's just see what, I don't know, we'll see what 350 looks like. I haven't tested this yet. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look uh, that bad. I'm going to set that to 350. I'm going to hit update. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. You can see it shrinks it down a little bit um, and it makes it uh, just a little bit tighter because again, that is controlling just the width uh, of this playlist. Uh, but again, the controls are super sleek. Uh, you know, it works really well. You know, the only thing that would make you want to upgrade to your uh, pro audio igniter is really being able to customize uh, the look and feel of that player or again, hooking into SoundCloud. So let's just take a look at that uh, for a moment. Uh, if I go to plugins, I already have it uh, uploaded. I'm going to activate it. So when we go to add, when we go back to our playlist, now that the pro version is connected here, uh, if I go to add a track um, and I pull up, let's say SoundCloud, let's actually pull up um, the SoundCloud. Matt report stream. 
whoops. It'd be super helpful if I could remember the URL to my SoundCloud. No clue. <laughs> Let's just search for it. Marin for it. Boom. And I will link up the Rob Walling interview. Paste that in. And you can see it automatically recognizes it's from SoundCloud. And I can just sync the SoundCloud. That'll give it a second. Image couldn't be uploaded. That's fine, probably because it was too large. Um, but I'm going to just try it one more time to see if it goes away. It doesn't, but that's fine. What we're going to see here is we're going to hit update. And it's going to pull in. It pulls in the title. And it'll definitely pull in our track uh, on the last one right here. And if I were to go to play that, I am going to... Welcome to the Matt Report. I don't want it. Uh, the sound overriding this video, but that's pulling in right from SoundCloud. And what I found actually is that if you use the SoundCloud embed option, right? So if you were to just, because uh, in WordPress, you can get a SoundCloud embed snippet. You can drop it right in your WordPress site. The SoundCloud embed uh, loading, right? The amount of data that it loads to show that SoundCloud embed, like a YouTube embed, is almost twice as large as just using this player, right? It was somewhere around, if you go back to the original article that I've created about this uh, down in the YouTube show notes, uh, you can see it was somewhere like around 600 kilobytes uh, of a total request to load the SoundCloud player, whereas this one was half that, right? Almost just under 300. So it definitely saves a lot of uh, bandwidth that way, especially if you're trying to optimize your site. Let's take a look at customizing this. Again, with the pro version, active, we can go to the customizer in our WordPress uh, front end. We go right over to Audio Igniter, and we can change all of these elements um, of the player. So if I wanted that background color to be just something a little bit more gray-ish uh, to go along with the scheme that we have here, I can, do, I can change it to gray. Um, I can do stuff like the text color, maybe a little bit darker here. Um, and I can change the accent color to, let's just see what that looks like, red instead of that pink, but maybe we could just do something like this, the blue. So you can see I can really customize uh, sort of a whole bunch of areas uh, of this player when you have the pro version active. And it's pretty painless, pretty seamless. But one thing I, I would say that I really wish that the plugin had was the ability to create a playlist right on a post so that if I wanted to embed just, again, like one SoundCloud file or just one file, instead of me having to come here and create all these playlists and then dropping that short code onto a pager post, that would be, uh, I'd really like to see that. Um, otherwise, again, if you are a podcaster and you're strictly using SoundCloud for your, uh, for your feed, this is a great uh, great tool for that. If you're a podcaster and you don't hook into um, iTunes or you want to build a playlist of your favorite shows, which is a great idea, maybe I should use it for that, um, and you don't want to have to fuss around with messing around with your feeds and your iTunes settings, perfect perfect tool for you right here. Or the course, the membership software, that kind of thing. You have a bunch of audio tracks. This is a great player for that. And last but not least, you can see that once you have that pro version active, you can rearrange, drag and drop, um, and batch upload too. So if you wanted to save yourself time and uh, batch upload a whole bunch of tracks at once, you could do that as well, which you can't do in the free version. Um, otherwise, the free version does suit your basic needs for getting a player uh, up and running on your WordPress site. That's Audio Igniter. You can check it out, Audio Igniter, uh, excuse me, cssigniter.com slash ignite slash plugins slash Audio Igniter Pro. That's where you can get the pro one. You can see this uh, feature list here of what's available in the free version and the pro version. Again, it's only 49 bucks um, to get the pro version. Again, if you want to check out the free version, you can search for it right on wordpress.org. Let's plug in Tut. If you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and thumbs up, share with friends and family. It really helps. Thanks, everybody.